I'm going to ask you some control questions. Shoot. Is your name Mr. Trevor Blake? Yes. Are you 31 years old? Yes. Are you currently blindfolded? Yes. Is it currently October of 1983? It is. Yes or no only for now? Yes. What is that? It's simply a tone for calibrating the test. Okay. Does that Do the words Abel Archer mean anything to you? No. Are you a communist? No. Do you associate with any communists? No. Are you involved with Operation Ryan? No. Mr. Blake, are you a communist? No. Are you aware of Operation Abel Archer? No. Have you ever been employed by a government agency of any kind by any nation? No. Have you ever been to the USSR? No. Have you ever been to Fort Meade, Maryland? No. Mr. Blake, do you feel you have extraordinary mental powers? Yes. You feel you have a sort of extrasensory perception? Yes. There's a nickel on the table for the purposes of quarter. Remove your blindfold. I have an envelope containing a shape on a piece of paper. Can you please draw what you believe the shape to be on the paper in front of you? This is satellite imagery taken three days ago. There's a Soviet nuclear refinement facility in one of these buildings. Are you able to identify it? Have you ever been to the USSR? No. Have you ever been to Fort Meade, Maryland? No. Are you familiar with the concept of a mental trigger? No. It is believed by some that after a period of brainwashing, a sleeper agent can be created to commit illegal or treasonous acts simply by hearing a trigger, an audio tone, a simple word, a picture, any sensory cue. The victim may have no memory of any part of the process. Do you believe I've been brainwashed? I'm simply here to administer the test. Right. And, um, what kind of treason could I commit in here? It's also believed certain tones can enhance mental abilities or retard them completely. These audio tones are all part of the test. Any lapses in memory? Any periods of time where recollecting important events is difficult? No. When did you discover you had such an ability? Uh, a few years ago. I realized I could see things in other places, sometimes in the past. And where'd you learn this? I can't say. What is that? It's the seal of the university you attended. Cornell, I believe. I went to Princeton, Mr. Blake. Class of 56? 58. <laughs> My mistake. It's not 100% accurate. No, I imagine it's not. However, that does leave us with some concerns. This is a diagram found on nuclear weapons equipment. You only asked what was in the envelope. You were not aware? No. 
Can you explain to me how someone with no prior experience related to nuclear technology, nor previous contact with anyone at this facility, could have replicated this as accurately as you did? No. Can you? No, Mr. Blake, I cannot. But you have identified sensitive information of national security. Psychic or not, we have reason to be skeptical. Well, you can test me again if you'd like. Are you a baseball fan? Sure. So you could tell me, say, who's going to win the World Series? Not with certainty. Sure, but you could tell me what the players are doing right at this moment? If I could, you'd have no way to confirm that. No, but as it is now, it would appear that your abilities only apply to very sensitive and very classified information. Jackie Robinson. You saw Jackie Robinson hit a home run at the World Series in Brooklyn the year you graduated. That's right. 1958. But Robinson retired in 56. And the Dodgers moved to LA in 57. You've seen that image before? No. No? Well, then. How do you know what it is? I... Maybe you saw it in a dream. <laughs> Mr. Blake. Mr. Holden. 1956 to 1958, where were you? A lapse in memory, perhaps? You see, I'm not the one being tested. Have you ever been to Fort Meade? Subject 7, failure, breach of cognizance. Mr. Holden insisted on previously repressed details from before his training. Successful termination compliance. We'll need to apply new programming in future tests. Send in subject 8.